what's up guys so on in this video we're gonna demonstrate how to wire up a magnetic door contact using a relay so in this situation here what the client wanted to do was to uh, have a light turn on as soon as you open the door so what we need to do uh, in, in, in this application is first of all you need a relay okay so um, as you can see here you have uh, a black a white and a red okay so that that is your line voltage so what you're gonna you're gonna want to do here is uh, you're gonna take your power your main feed which is uh, normally 120 volts and you're gonna wire you're gonna put a you're gonna splice these wires together okay so I think uh, most people are familiar with the color codes uh, it's usually white for neutral black for hot okay now your red that can be to control your uh, your load which would be the light so in this case I'm just showing you uh, how to wire it up and the red actually goes to um, the light inside the closet okay which doesn't have power yet all right I'm doing this live here I don't recommend that anybody do this unless you're a well experienced electrician okay so here you're gonna put your white which is your neutral and again this is just temporary uh, a temporary uh, hookup just to see if it's gonna work okay so this is called splicing your wires you want to always splice these wires I see a lot of videos where guys just put a wire nut on it that's not enough there's something called arcing and that can cause a fire depending on the load and the, you know the amperage that it's drawing okay but that's you know that's something different where we can discuss that in another video so you put your neutral there now this is for your constant power okay so you're gonna put your black with with this black here again splice the wires make sure it's nice and tight now once you give this relay power okay now your light is, is not gonna come on yet and the reason why is because the the way that's being controlled, the relay is actually being controlled uh, through uh, a magnetic switch, okay, magnetic door contacts, which you're going to see in a second. Now, those are your low voltage wires, okay? That's going to be hooked up to the relay as well. That that is actually what is uh, coming from the the magnetic doors, the magnetic door contacts. wires and you're gonna put those wires and you're gonna splice them together with the, with the wires on this relay on the low voltage end now these magnetic door contacts they're normally closed okay now some of them required for them to be normally open in this case they're normally closed so uh, you you're gonna want want to wire it up this way Okay. Polarity in this case doesn't really matter. But uh the way you have your orange and yellow together on the relay is how you wire it up with normally closed uh, door contacts. Okay? Now this is what's gonna give everything power. It's gonna give the relay power. And as you can see the light immediately turns on. Uh, because the magnetic door contacts are not touching and I, you're going to see that in a second now once you touch them it normally it's going to become a normally open application which is what turns the light off so see if you can kind of understand the theory here uh, that, that magnetic contact that's going to go inside your door the door frame and 
that that's the one with the wires now the one without the wires is going to go on the actual door okay so in this case as you can see how when you open a door it'll turn on and when you close the door it'll turn off so you don't need a switch you know when you open that door light immediately comes on it's one of the most convenient things you know uh, when it comes to uh, closet lighting nobody really wants to deal with the switch just open that door boom light turns on if you guys have any questions uh, just ask in the comments I'll be, I'll be uh, I mean you know in case you know you guys aren't aware it's 2020 New York City quarantine and uh, we don't have much work right now and uh, you know it's it shut down New York City is shut down so uh, I don't have a lot of content but uh, hopefully soon you know uh, God willing everything will work itself out and we'll get back to work and I'll you know I'll be able to, to upload more videos on my channel so here I just wanted to see how far the door needs to be uh, at minimum for for this to work because uh, the way these doors were I mean I don't think you can see it here I, I don't believe I I focused on it but uh, there's gonna be a, about a half inch gap between the door and door frame so I just wanted to see how far it needed to be for this to, to actually work and it was fine I, you know what it wasn't even a half inch it was probably a quarter of an inch but still I think the most at minimum it'll work at an inch if I'm not if I'm not mistaken all right guys well thanks for sticking around thanks for watching the video like subscribe and uh, I'll be uploading more content soon.